Great. Yeah. Great recommendations. Yeah. And, and, you know, and, and, you know, starting with why, maybe that uh, can be a segue for me to talk about these signs behind me here. Yeah. And, uh, that's where and, I was going uh, the, next. I like yeah. That. The laundry, the you know, laundry cares foundation. Cause for me, this has had a lot to do with why. And, and so uh, the short version is, uh, myself, other friends in the business, we just feel an immense amount of gratitude for this industry and the livelihood that it's provided. You know, the way I look at it, my career for th- uh, almost 30 years starts with that mom dropping a quarter in a washing machine. You know, and those families are often from under-resourced neighborhoods that we serve. And it got us thinking about uh, what could we do to give back and support the families that have been supporting our businesses all these years. And so we created a separate foundation, the Laundry Cares Foundation, really with that mission of giving back to the families that support our businesses. And as we've uh, dug deeper into that work, we found that we really have a unique opportunity uh, because we are a channel, we are a conduit for connecting resources with the families that need them most. If you talk to people that are engaged in literacy, uh, people that are engaged in uh, healthcare, people that are engaged in uh, providing uh, resources to low-income families, what they'll tell you is these families are hard to find, right? There's, There's help available, but it's just hard to connect with them based on those families are busy and they got multiple jobs and they're, you know, they're uh, often uh, sort of dispersed. And we said, yeah, we know where they are. Mm-hmm. We know where they are every week. Mm-hmm. And we have this tremendous opportunity to connect them with resources. You know, so uh, our three pillars real quickly are our free laundry and literacy days uh, where we uh, put on or encourage you to put on uh, a day of free laundry, uh, but build that with uh, perhaps free food, free soap, and connections to local organizations, whether it's a WIC clinic or a health literacy group or a financial literacy group um, uh, or a reading uh, campaign group to you know, come to the laundromat and help connect those customers with the resources that can help them. Uh, you've probably talked to the Williford family. Mm-hmm. A quick anecdote from those guys is you know, they had one of the um, breast cancer awareness charities approach them about setting up a table on a Saturday afternoon. And the net result of that was they had more signups, more connections with at-risk uh, women than they had found in any other outreach that they've done. Mm-hmm. So uh, what we're trying to do with the foundation is activate this continuity, this connection that we have to the communities that need the most help. And our primary effort has been this one over here, which is the uh, Laundry Literacy Coalition, Talk about oxymorons, <laughs> but knowing that you know, the families and their kids that are coming to the laundromat are behind when it comes to uh, kindergarten preparedness, reading at the third grade level by third grade. Mm-hmm. Uh, they often live in book deserts. Uh, I take for granted with my 10 year old, we got more books than we can, uh, you know, stack up in any one place. So delivering books, uh, you know, is an important part of that laundry and literacy day. The second thing is our family replay learn centers, which is building a mini library space in the laundromat. We've all got that that corner that you can sort of upcycle into a little space with a bookshelf and a table. And if you've seen uh, the videos at laundrycares.org, you see that it it is a game changer. It uh, lifts up those families. Your attendants hold their heads a bit higher. You feel a greater sense of purpose in your business as a laundromat owner. And it's delivering real measurable help uh, in the communities by having those connections. And then we partner with local library systems and other folks that can come in to read stories. Uh, The third pillar is a disaster response and recovery. You know, we know that when there's a hurricane, a tornado, some kind of natural disaster, there's ready help when it comes to finding people uh, a hot meal, a place to stay. Uh, But laundry is one of those really acute needs that's really hard to uh, Mm -hmm. uh, match uh, and and, and solve right away. So that's the part of our foundation that we're working hard to develop further, but all of you are in a position to uh, provide that type of support. Uh, we get calls from FEMA. We get calls from other relief organizations because they really need access to to laundromats in the wake of those storms. So the way that all of you can help, go to laundrycares.org. One of the things you can do for free, Jordan, is just simply enroll your locations in our Laundry Cares network. It's free. Put in your locations. And all you're doing is raising your hand and saying, I'm a community-friendly laundromat. That's, only, that's the only commitment you're making. But as we work with local partners and have opportunities come that come up, we're able to find you literally on the map. You'll see the map on 
point, uh, on laundrycares.org, uh, closing in on a thousand locations. And that way we can connect you with these opportunities to give back to the community. So um, for a higher sense of purpose, for giving back and taking care of the, the families that take care of us, Laundry Cares Foundation is a great way for you to live that. And uh, tying it off with new investors, Jordan, what I'm hearing from a lot of people that are new to the business is they're looking for that corporate social responsibility. They're looking for getting into a business where they can have a real impact. And so Laundry Cares has actually uh, made our industry that much more attractive to new investors because there's a built-in CSR program, a ready-made uh, banner for them to help the community. Yeah, I love that. I love, you know, I, I think that 